Does incest exist in Pakistan? Definitely. Oh, yes. Uh, the, difference is that per, the difference is that in this society, we such a hypocritical society, that we pretend it's not happening, majority of people. Even if people know it's happening, they'll turn their face the other way. They'll say, we don't want to get involved. We don't want to get involved. And you know what? Let them, it's their headache, not ours. My father had been abusing me since the time I was a little kid. I appealed to my relatives for help. I told my mother, and uh, at which she said, I'll tell your father. And I told her not to. I asked her not to. I said, he'll beat me. But she made a point to tell him. And after that, my father wouldn't let me talk to anybody. He wouldn't let me talk to anyone at all, not even my family, not anybody at all. The moment somebody came and stood with me for a second, or I stood with someone, he immediately said, what are you talking about me? What are you talking about me? And uh, that way, he managed to keep me isolated for most of my life. At one point, I was about 18. And things had reached the point where my father was getting violent as well. I mean, he was starting to us, you know, hit and beat and pick up knives and things like that. And I was very scared. I was extremely depressed. I had tried to commit suicide. And I decided to run away. I decided to run away. I persuaded my mother and my sisters to run. I said, we don't have any, we don't have anyone who will help us. Anyway, but I still persuaded my mother and my, I persuaded my family to make a break for it, you know, just to get away. We made a break for it. My mother told her brother where she was staying. And her brother brought my father over. When I went to my uncle, I spoke to him. I said, why are you doing this? I said, why are you doing this? First? You know what's been going on? It's been going on for years. And, We've had enough. Why is he do he's been doing this and he doesn't stop. He hasn't stopped up to now. So why are you doing this to us? And he said, oh, don't worry about it. Your father won't do it anymore. OK. I said, I don't believe him. It's, he's a liar. He, he's, you can't trust him. He'll say anything he wants to, you know, just to get away with it. So he said, no, no, you have to go. Just calm down. You have to go. You're, uh, you don't have a choice. Why did you finally decide to share your story? Well, finally, I made the decision to talk about it because I realize that we have to talk about it. People have to know what's going on. And if nobody talks about it, nobody admits it, it'll remain hidden. At least somebody should be able to come out and speak about what's happening. And there should be first acceptance and admittance of what's happening. And there should be laws put into place where people will be afraid to do them. Such harsh laws. And frankly speaking, I think only death. The fact that people can get away with it, it makes it much easier for them. The fact that people will support them and not the victim makes it easier for them. The fact that people will try to protect them rather than expose them makes it easier for them.